Jet Lawrence scored his 7th 450 SX class victory of his rookie season, moving him into 28th on the all-time 450 SX class wins list. Lawrence's 47th AMA win places him 12th all-time passing Kevin Windham. Lawrence has regained his double-digit advantage in the point standings over Cooper Webb. Honda's 7 450 SX class wins are the most they have in a single season since 2003 when they also scored 7. Lawrence moves into the top 10 on Honda's 450 SX class all-time win list as well, tied with Chase Sexton. Okay, so technically Joe Shimoda has two chances left to get his first win of 2024 out of the way, but it's going to be a lot easier in Denver than it will be a week later in Salt Lake City when he has to compete against the best riders of the 250 SX East region in the Dave Coombs Senior East-West Showdown. Shimoda's second half of the season has been stronger than the first he's been on the podium the last four races in a row and was runner-up at the last two. The situation at the top of the points in the 250 SX West region is extremely tight. RJ Hampshire leads Levi Kitchen by two points, with two rounds remaining making Denver a crucial night for both of them. Kitchen, who crashed hard in Nashville and gave up a ton of points by finishing 14th, can't afford to let Hampshire pad that lead heading into the final round. Compounding matters is that the final race of the series is the Dave Coombs Senior East-West Showdown, which will add a degree of unpredictability to an already pressure-filled night. Who will come out of the penultimate? Eli Tomek is a huge fan favorite these days. But nobody loves him like the crowd in Denver. They go absolutely crazy for him in Empower Field at Mile High every year. And after he ruptured his Achilles tendon there last year, you can bet the fans are going to have some extra energy and decibels this Saturday. When Cooper Webb and Jet Lawrence were tied for the championship lead, all we could talk about was how quickly things changed for Lawrence, who was up by 21 points just a few races prior. Well, that was only two races ago, and suddenly he's back up by 12 points over Webb, with just two rounds remaining. If Webb wants to have a fighting chance in Salt Lake City, he's going to have to win in Denver and hope Lawrence has some bad luck. Jetson Lawrence has won two in a row and now holds a 12-point lead. This thing can turn quickly, but he has shown backbone in the face of heavy pressure from Webb and Keo. Chase Sexton has shown serious improvement as he still works out the kinks on his Red Bull KTM. I found it interesting that he is still unsure on settings this late in the season, but they guessed right in Philly. Jason Anderson has refound his form in the waning rounds. He had a very tough midsection of the series, but these last two rounds should work nicely for his skills. Justin Barcia is not on the 2023 form that saw him battling for wins, but he's improved from what was a horrific 2024 season outside of San Diego. He and the team have been battling motorcycle settings and 48 mm forks. Monster Energy Yamaha Star Racing's 450 team had a tough filly, going April 5th 10 in the main event with Cooper Webb, Eli Tomic and Justin Cooper, respectively. The fourth was punishing for Webb as he slips to 12 points back.